Gemini Launch Control, T minus 104 minutes and counting, 104 and counting, all still proceeding very well on this countdown, which has now been in progress about four and a half hours. The hatches on the Gemini spacecraft were just closed a matter of a minute or so ago. Tom Stafford, the command pilot, uh, hatch was first closed at the 105 mark, and about 10 seconds later, the pilot, Gene Cernan, had his hatch closed. All are still proceeding very well at this point. When the astronauts came into the white room, uh, they brought a prop along with them. It was about two feet long, and it was in the shape of a match. The crew requested that this match be brought back down from the white room and presented to Martin Company test conductor Frank Carey, uh, signifying that they want to have the match help uh, Frank get the launch vehicle off for them today. T minus 103 minutes and five seconds and counting. We now switch you to the Mission Control Center in Houston. And this is Gemini Control in Houston. At our control center, the white team of flight controllers have reported for duty and are manning the consoles at this moment. Our target vehicle is nearing the end of its 28th revolution and is now passing over the Central Pacific. Its apogee is 161.9 nautical miles by 161.5 nautical miles. Our flight controllers are now standing by and will pick up that is, the white team will pick up the control of this mission. Also on hand here at Mission Control is Chris Kraft, our Director of Flight Operations, who has just come into the room. This is Gemini Control at 102 minutes, 14 seconds before the launch.
Gemini Launch Control coming up on T minus 64 minutes and counting. T minus 64, everything's still going very well with our countdown. The augmented target docking adapter now in the early phases of its 29th revolution in the spacecraft at Launch Complex 19. Astronauts Tom Stafford and Gene Cernan have completed their switch list check. This is a check of all switches in the cockpit to ensure that they are in the proper position for launch. Uh, Stafford also had just completed a series of ultra-high frequency communications checks from the spacecraft. We'll be coming up in a matter of a minute or so on a status check for erector lowering. This will be followed in about seven or eight minutes by bringing down that 138-foot erector at launch complex 19. All still proceeding very satisfactorily as the countdown has all morning. T minus 63 minutes, eight seconds and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control. Germany launch control, T minus 57 minutes, 13 seconds and counting. The 138 foot erector is now coming down at launch complex 19. When they first uh, saw the sky as the erector moved back, Gene Cernan uh, exclaimed, oh boy, and Tom Stafford looking up declared that it was a great day. The erector is now coming down. This is about a 10 minute operation. The erector is run by a 150 horsepower motor in a winch system, which first eases the erector back from the spacecraft launch vehicle combination, and then acts as a brake as it eases the erector down to its down position at the pad. The operation should take about 10 minutes if all goes well. In the meantime, uh, the remainder of the aspects of the counts going on at this time are all going well. T-minus 56 minutes, 18 seconds and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control.